everyone. Michelle here from the Creative Cove. Thanks for joining me today. Um, we are on part three of our watercolor lap book. And um, I've been playing with some ideas and kind of figuring some things out as I go. I'm not very comfortable at creating while I'm filming. I find there's a lot of pressure. Um, so if I've done something and then I demonstrate it in a video on how to make it, I'm much more professional, if that makes more sense. Um, I'm always looking for things on my desk and stuff. So bear with me on these projects where I uh, build before I've actually built. So I'm building and thinking and talking and explaining all at the same time. And my brain can only do so much. <laughs> so um, today I... I pulled out some ideas and then I thought okay we'll do them together uh, so this is where we're at on part two of our lap book and mine suffered a bit of damage I dropped it so the paper that was on the corner here is peeled back a bit so I need to address that and these watercolor lap books or any lap books that are you making like travel versions like this size uh, they are going to take quite a bit of a beating so it's um it doesn't upset me that this has happened. It just um, realized that it's fragile in certain areas and I need to reinforce it. So I'll be doing that. Um, but, it, you know, it took a pretty big tumble and, and nothing fell out. Not that there's much in here yet, but the paint's in here and everything else was intact. It's just this, this edge here that takes a bit of a beating. And I think the paper was that I chose to do this corner was maybe just a little too fragile to begin with uh we need something more heavy duty on the on the back end here so we'll address that in a bit but um i wanted to go through some inspiration so when you're building lap books or books in general or projects i'm always looking for inspiration things that um, maybe you've built already or painted already or uh, assembled already that you can incorporate into your book um, so I went through a couple of things. I organized some papers and stumbled across some of uh, other projects that I've done that I want to incorporate into my journal, uh, into my lap book here, so that I can I can add stuff that inspires me in this book. So when I travel and pull out my watercolor, I also have inspiration inside the book. So I had made this little journal insert, and I make these all the time. I uh, I just fold papers and decorate them as I go. And uh, I think I did a video on how I do this. And I thought this would be a really fun way to incorporate uh, some inspiration because I'm very, I like to work with botanicals. So this is a cute way of inspiring me to take out my watercolors and just have fun. It's also a great way to store some scraps, which is what this lap book is all about. Um, holding in little tiny watercolor pieces so that um, you can just pull them out and put them back in. So this is just, again, uh, a little booklet of inspiration that I want to incorporate in. So here's a watercolor here by someone, and it's it's beautiful. And it just makes me want to pick up my, my brushes and paint. So I want to incorporate stuff like this into this book. So these are just papers um, of botanicals. Here's some that I had tucked in. So these are a watercolor sketch I did. And this is some embroidery. And again, it's just the, the textile that I want to incorporate, again, inspires me to get creative. And you want to put things in your journal that make you happy, make you want to partake and do things and uh, inspire you to get those creative juices flowing. So this is a little booklet that I want to put in. So hopefully uh, this gives you some idea too if you're going through your stash and finding things that you've already made. Um, here's some watercolors that I've done and I have done a tutorial on how I make these little mini thumbnails and there's all kinds of little different ones. So I thought why not incorporate some of the ones that I've done already already into the watercolor. We can decorate a page with these. The gold paint on this is just so pretty. I hope you can see that. It's just so pretty. And uh, and just when you open up your book, you're inspired to just pick up the paint and go for it. So here's some watercolors. So we can tuck those in there. Uh, some scrap papers. So it doesn't have to be watercolor. Maybe you want to write some notes. Again, just little mini ephemeras uh, that I've pulled out. I really love the look of this one. I definitely want to glue this in here somewhere. 
I just love it. So this is a sketch of a um, thistle that's gone to seed. I did a little while ago and I just really love the textures in it. I love the vintage look and I want it to inspire me to pick up my watercolor. So again, filling your book with stuff that you love. Um, little sketches that you've done. I think I got some sketches in here. Here's some more thistles. So again, just little, I always pick up scraps of paper and doodle. That's that's my jam. I have doodles everywhere. Uh, already a made ephemera, things like this. Uh, more sketches. Uh, I'm trying to get to some other sketches here, mushrooms. So here's some little birdies I did on watercolor. And uh, I like to include these because then I might want to watercolor these over top of the ink. So insert all these goodies, anything that applies to the theme of your your junk journal and fill it with things that really inspire you to be creative, whatever it might be. Those are scrap papers. So that's that. I just wanted to run that through because we're gonna use some of this today. I'm not sure what, but some. So let's open our book to where we were. I'm hoping, I think my camera's crooked, oh my goodness. There, I hope that's better, sorry. Um, I'm not gonna, I'll maybe, maybe fix this today, but I haven't figured out what to fix it with yet. Probably some lace, but uh, I wanna do that last. So uh, I thought maybe we could build up on these things. So we did the watercolor insert and a lady on, um, on the last video or the first video had recommended using magnets. I'm sorry, I can't remember her name, but it's in the comments section. Uh, you could put a magnet under the paper and stick the tin right to the magnet. Like, that's genius. So you don't even have to build the box. But I'm telling you now, after we've built the box. <laughs> so, again, see? Creative juices. A lady figured out another way of doing it, which is awesome. That's the whole, the whole point, right? The whole point of doing these lap books is to share ideas in creative ways. So thank you for that idea. Okay, so I was at the thrift shop the other day. Oh, well, what a shocker, eh? And I came across these really cool folders. I guess they're like a medical folder or a dental folder. And I got about 10 of them for a dollar. And they're awesome. They're a pretty color. They're this kind of soft green. But what I really liked about them was these little clips. So I guess uh, they hole punch and then they put your file, your medical file in, in these little doohickeys. So I thought that could be a different way to hold some some scrap paper. It's not the most efficient way, but it's pretty and decorative and a fun way to use up these pieces. So uh, I'm not gonna walk you through how I cut it all down. It's It will be pretty obvious. I basically just cut the piece of the file folder out and punched some holes in some scrap papers. And you can see nothing straight, because I don't like straight. Um, and, uh, well, I do like straight. I'm just too lazy to do it straight. <laughs> but I just clip them in. I punch holes in and I clip them in. So now I've got this little mini pad that I can remove and pull a piece off if I want. Or I can just treat it like a pad of paper. So I thought this was really fun. And then I had, uh, of course, I only cut that piece out. So I was left with quite a bit of folder left. So I took a piece here from the top. I think it was like this, and just chopped it and chopped it down to fit inside my book. So whatever, I mean, chances are you're not gonna have folders exactly like this, but whatever you have in your repertoire is what you can chop down and add into your book for these little folders that we can add in and then add two. So I've done these two, so I'm not gonna cut them all over again. You don't need to see that. Uh, but use what you've got, whatever file folders you have, whatever clips you might have. There's also, um, when I have extra papers and I'm in a hurry, I'll just add in some clips. I'll use these really fun oversized um, paper clips. You can use regular clips. I have another one here, but I don't see it because my desk's a mess again. So little clips. I think I have one of these in the original watercolor book. Again, you can just clip in papers, whatever you've got. So now I want to figure out where I want to put everything. 
So what I love about lap books is how you can fold them out and fold them out. And there's all these kind of fold out pockets. You can fold up, you can fold down. I mean, the, the possibilities are limitless. Um, so I thought I'm going, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So this booklet that I want to add is pretty thick. So I thought I might include it in here like this and it will take up that whole chunk and then fold it like this, which allows me to put a couple of things in here and then a couple of things in here. So let's, that's what I think I'm gonna do with this because it holds really nice in here. It's the perfect width for the size that I built. I was thinking of putting it in here, but uh, I think it fits perfect right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. So that part is spoken for. So this this is in here. I can still decorate this if I want, but I kind of I kind of like it plain. Um, maybe put a pocket in here, like a little hidden pocket. We'll see. And that's the fun of a lap book is you're creating and creating some more, and then overlapping and creating even more. <laughs> it, just, it just keeps going. So I have these envelopes, and I think I showed this in the very first video of these thank you cards that I had. Oh, I lost them. There they are. Uh, these so I coffee dyed some of them and this was the inspiration of the size of the book because I have a lot of these so I want to use the envelopes now I did coffee dye the envelopes but I made the mistake of not opening it before I coffee dyed um, so now it's all sealed and ripped so I made a boo-boo there so we're just going to use the original before it's coffee dyed and I thought we could glue this one down right in here and then it can open up right like this. Am I in frame? Sorry. It's, it's so deceiving, this camera. It's way off center of the actual where the cameras are fixed. So I think I'll do that. So let's ink her up. There's my inker and my ink. So I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use a selection of brush corduroy and vintage photo so I think this is the vintage photo and again I like mine dirty so you don't have to go all out like this you do you do you some of this is most of this is going to be covered anyways but I do like grunge and we're also going to tone the book down because again it, it's blue it's pretty blue but it's too bright for me I like I like it warm. That's how I described my my grungy look. Is I find it just warms it up. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this down, and I want to make sure that it closes and doesn't go past this edge. So let's get our trusty glue out. Ooh, what a mess! Uh, assuming I can get into my glue now that it's dried all over. I cleaned out my um, my little creative space here and tried to organize my <laughs> tried to organize my space and went through all my scraps and tried to organize all that and boy I didn't realize how many scraps I had. Okay, what's going on? Did I dry it right out? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Welcome to the Creative Cove, where we're never organized enough. There we go. Okay, we got it going. Just got to put some serious muscle into it. I think it's starting to dry out a bit here. It's a pretty gray day here. It's snowing on and off. But we've had an extremely mild winter, really, so I'm not complaining at all. I'm just going to glue that down. Me and frame, Michelle. I'm gonna slide it to the back and just double check that my edges don't overlap. All right, put that down. So now I have a little, little pocket I can put things in. And you can reinforce this too, because again, these papers are pretty fragile, but I just wanna have fun and decorate it, to be honest. Um, I think I'm gonna put this guy in here. So I'm gonna glue the back of this green piece right here, so I have a little section of paper, little scrap papers. So I'm just gonna glue 
this on here. Yeah, it's drying out. That's the only problem with this type of glue is it evaporates. And I'm notorious for not putting my lid on, so it's my own fault. I'm going to put this down so you can, again, make any kind of clip or whatever. You can use a paper clip, whatever works for you. I just thought these little doctor medical forms were kind of fun to use. And then I thought we would put this guy on here. So this I got off Amazon and they're the, these um, little library cards. And I got a hundred of them. I can't remember what I paid. It was a long time ago. But they're really fun to use because they're so fun to decorate. And then they're they're come with a little library card. And I thought what could be fun is you can write notes of what you want to watercolor or what you watercolored when you did it. The colors that you used, maybe whatever you want. You can put a couple of these cards in. I thought that would be kind of fun. So I think I'm just going to leave this blank and decorate this. So first, let's grunge it up. And I'm going to use some of the watercolor inspirations that I have pulled out and showed you already to decorate with today. And I think we'll do the card as well. Because again, I just like to tone things down and make it warm. I'm sorry about the shadows again. I only have the one light. It's very dark outside. One day I want to get one of those fancy round lights that click with your phone. Like how much fun would that be? One day I'll save enough money for that. Okay, so let's pull out some inspirational water colors here. This is pretty and it's blue. So that's kind of nice. I like that. That works already. Let's do that. That was easy. Do I want to go brown? Oh, this little blue one's cute too. It's more simple and delicate. Maybe we'll use that one. It's not quite as bright. And then maybe a piece of paper behind it. What did I bring out? I didn't really bring out any paper, did I? Let me just grab some paper here. Uh, paper. Let's grab some paper. There we go. Now that I'm all organized in the studio, woohoo! See how long that lasts. Okay. This is kind of nice too, but it's a bit cold. I want something a little warmer. So I think we'll use this and my ruler, which I have misplaced. Okay, I lied. I'm not that organized. Hmm. I just saw it not too long ago, but I can't remember where I put it. What's in here? Here's a popsicle stick. That will work. You never know what you're going to find on my desk. So let's... I don't want to cover the whole book. I like borders. So I like the texture of this writing. Add that to my scrap pile when I'm done. That's cute. Put that down. Do I have another glue stick? I have another bottle of glue. I wonder if this is any better. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Come on, glues. Let's do this. Which one? Oh, this one's winning. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the lid on this, put it upside down. Okay, just flip this over. Let's not leave that there. It's casting a shadow. Put that here. This is to me the funnest part about building a lap book is decorating it and building all the folders. The actual hardcover book isn't my favorite part, but making it unique and personal to you is so much fun with all the little ways you can come up with fun ideas and pockets and way to use, make this book functional, really. You want to make it so that you use it. Um, you don't want to make it so pretty that you don't use it. <laughs> 
you know, you want to you want to open it up and be completely be inspired to do what the theme of the book is. In this case, watercolor. And these, I, I think I did a little tutorial on how I made these little watercolor samples. And they were really fun to do. So there, that's kind of cute. I feel like we need something behind this. I feel like this is going to get lost. So did I get more blue paper? I think I found some blue paper when I was cleaning out um, my stashes. But I don't know where I put it. Because I might have gotten organized, but don't remember where I put anything. So getting organized and staying organized are two different things. Uh, that's what I find. It's not easy to stay organized. So I don't know. I thought I found... Oh, is this it? Here's some blue papers. Sorry. I should have pulled these out ahead, but I completely forgot. I think those are them. Let's see if we can use some of those. Okay. Put my paper stash back. Oh, a popsicle stick. Okay, let's try. Oh, I lied. <laughs> oh, no, here they are. Here's some blues. Some pinks. And they're just those dollar store pads. But I, I stumbled across some more. And they're, they're very blue. I thought I can still use them for these projects. Because I have so much blue in here. I just want to add a little border around just to separate this neutral from this neutral. And I'm just gonna give it a little haircut here. Let's see if I like that. So this again is a sticky back. So super easy. There, I like that. Just a tiny wee bit of blue poking through. I gotta get this glue off my scissors. There we go. And we can embellish it even further. I found these cute little, did I bring them over? Oh, maybe not. Oh man, Michelle. You have all these ideas, but you can't execute anything. Here they are. Oh, I fell on the floor. Got these little I don't know what they're called, little hairpins, I guess, where they open up. So you put a little hole in them, and it looks like it's holding everything together. And really, it's glued. So I'm just going to poke a hole in here. All these cute little tiny embellishments. I mean, you can spend hours and hours doing these things. I just love it. And then put these through. That's what I'm forgetting, my glasses. Because it's hard to see things close up. I'm starting to lose my sight close up to me. I just use those cheater glasses and they work great. But uh, you know, you wake up suddenly one morning and I'm like, I can't see in front of me right now. <laughs> I can't read this instructions. And I don't know what it is, but every time I go to cook something, the instructions on the cooking box are dark writing on dark backgrounds. I don't know who is the genius behind that, but I'm blind as a bat when I try to read those things. Oh, man, getting older, I tell you. So, uh, mental note <laughs> craft with your glasses if you need them <laughs> things move a lot faster if you do all right last one we'll put one in here and then we'll glue it down and we've decorated that little back end which is simple but pretty and I, I found some washi tapes which I might incorporate because I've got this green going in from this folder now so I might add those. I always forget to use washi tape. Um, I never think to pull it out. I only think I have three rolls, three styles anyways, but it, 
it's uh, a nice, simple, quick embellishment washi tape. So it's nice to have in a repertoire. Okay, let's glue this down. So I'd love to hear what kind of lap books you're working on. If you're if you're building one, if you're if you're uh, got a specific theme that you're working with, I would love to see it. You're more than welcome to tag me on Instagram and post pictures because I just love that when people do that and I get to see what it is they're working on. It's so much fun. It's like a little a little community, you know. And I've lost my little insert now. See? Organized, but not really. I don't think I'm ever going to improve in that department. It's just not in my nature. Really? Oh my goodness. We'll stumble across it, the little insert that goes in there. <laughs> we'll find it while we're, while we're continuing. Okay, so we've got that. We've got this, our little scraps. We've got a little booklet here which I think I will add some watercolor inspirations to. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of different ones. Just throw those in there. Throw your little collection and maybe we could put something here. I haven't thought about what to put there yet. I'll think about that. Let's get this guy in. So he's sewn through and I'm not a big sewer when it comes to these pamphlets. Um, so that's why I do a big collection of these and then use them when I'm when I'm ready to insert them into something. Um, so this time I thought I would punch two holes. Actually, I don't think that's gonna work. I was gonna punch two holes here and tie it in, but the book is too wide, which means I'd have to punch holes in this too. And I don't wanna do that, I wanna tie it through so that I can pull it out when I need it. So I guess I'm just gonna have to tie right around, the, find the center of the book here somewhere. Where's the center? Nope, there it is. So, and then just tie with a piece of elastic. So let's do that instead. Because I don't, I, I like to be able to take my inserts out I don't like to sew them in permanently because I always like to change them or so this is a piece of elastic lace that I picked up at the thrift shop and I am just going to tie it in to the book and that way I'll show you in a second I'm going to do it pretty tight and I do a knot and then I'll do a bow just to decorate it you can do the knot on the inside too. It doesn't have to be on the outside. I might I might spin that around. We'll see how it looks when I close the book up. So now the book is in there, but I can also open it and um, remove it if I want. So I can take the whole book out. So I li I prefer that option. Uh, oh geez, I'm ripping my book. Uh, I prefer that option just so it makes the the book more accessible. I guess you would say. And just make sure that this stays here. Okay, and I just pulled this off. Mm. Yeah, my lap books take quite a beating when I make them. I'm not so rough with them once they're made. Okay, so that's in there like that. Like this. And I'm not huge on this on the outside, so I think I will rotate it around. So I'll find the center of that book again. And I'm just going to pull it around. See how rough I am with the book? And I'm going to chop the bow off so that the bulk isn't in here. So I've tied the knot. I'm going to tie a double knot just to be on the safe side. And then chop it. That way we don't have all that bow bulk in there. There, that's a little tidier on the outside of the book, which I like. Okay, so that's that. So we can put some stuff in here. So like I said, I build these little, there's already a, a couple of scraps of watercolor paper in here, but there's some more uh, pockets that I can include. So here's a little P 
piece of watercolor. So why don't we put in one of our little birdies so that if the mood hits to paint him, we can just pull him out and paint him. Maybe two. These are just done with little, um, that's too wide. Um, just ink pens, um, but don't run when they get wet when they get wet. Here's another pocket. And what's fun is you find all these fun little pockets you forget about. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, there's a pocket there. What's in that? And what else did I bring out? Oh, some stamps. You can watercolor over those. Where's that one I really like? I want to make sure I put this in somewhere today. So we put that in. And what else? I could put this in here somewhere. And you can add more of this. That's really fun to add. Another one in here. Oh, is this a tuck spot? Yeah, I could put it in there. All kinds of little pockets, and you can just keep going and keep going. So I'm going to put like a scrap in here, and maybe one more scrap. Put this in too. Like this there. So you get the idea. Fill your book with all your goodies and inspirations. It's, in, it's important to be inspired. You know, you might be in a position where there's nothing around you worth watercoloring and then you can just pull out your book and still use it so it's starting to get a bit of a gator mouth going there but that's okay because it's a lap book and you just tie it up okay so i definitely want to use this guy today so what else do we want to do so we've got this that opens up we've got some scraps and papers definitely want to decorate this to something little stamp um, or we can just simply glue one of our watercolors down again there's some blues this one's kind of nice it's got the same stamp so this is one of my carved stamps that I did my very first carved stamp I think this was my practicing to see where I needed to carve more but it's still a fun piece to keep and then I did a video on how to use them with watercolor. I like that. Cut this down a little more. So as you can see, I'm I'm into the botanical stuff. I like birds and mushrooms and being outdoors in general. What I want to start getting into is um, jelly plate printing. I haven't had a chance to get my hands really dirty with that yet, but that would be really fun to incorporate on watercolor paper as well. You can find an ink that doesn't bleed with water. How much fun is that going to be to um, add in? So, I mean, you can do more envelopes too. You know, you can do an envelope maybe that opens up again if you wanted. Another one that opens again. You can just keep going and keep going. So, open it up and then open it up. <laughs> it just that's the fun of a lap book uh i think i'm just gonna put this in here for now and glue that on i don't i think it does need some ink though around the edge there we go throw this on here so I want to find a way to put my um, watercolor brushes in here. So watercolor brushes are too long for this book, so I'm going to have to cut them down somehow. Saw off the ooh, saw off the end of the brush. So here's a watercolor brush, for example, and it's too big for here. I have the little mini one that I can add, but I would like to add a couple of options. And I want to put them in here, so I'm going to have to cut the brush, which is okay. It's not a big deal. But I want to figure out a way to put them in 
where they stay in. And of course, I made this the cover, so I can't punch holes through and put elastics. But I've got to figure out a way to do that. So I'm going to have to think on that for the next video because we definitely want to incorporate some brushes into our lap book. So the only thing we have to bring outside our lap book will be water. And uh, our paint brushes and paper will all be in here. So I'll have to think about that. If you have any ideas, please throw them my way. So I am more than happy to receive some fun ideas like that magnet. That was a great idea. So, I don't know if I want to put this in here yet because of the paint brushes. I might need this wall. So, I'm going to do this here. This looks a bit rough, too. Again, the paper I used, I think, was just too thin to be able to handle the bend. So, let's do another pocket. Let's do something like that, maybe. These pockets um, take up the whole page. Let's see anything I don't like. Oh, I have that folder that we made. Let's put that there. So we have this little guy, which I thought was kind of fun. Um, how do we want to use them? Maybe this way, and it opens up like this. And then we could build pockets and ephemera and stuff in here. And I can use this to decorate the outside of it. I like the mint green. It still needs toning down for me, but I do like the mint green. I think that's kind of fun. All right, let's tone it, the green down and see how we feel about it. It's just so much fun going to those thrift shops and finding all these old papers. And they're dirt cheap because only people like us will buy them. <laughs> only us creative paper people see the true value of these finds. Everybody else is like, what would I do with those? Well, we know what to do with them. <laughs> we know how to use them and turn them into something magical. Us junk journalers and scrapbookers, paper artists. We know the value. All right. So maybe I'll just glue down. I want to fix this edge first because this is going to be this is going to be a problem. I think I need some thicker paper. Something just that like can handle the bend a little bit better. And I don't want to cover all of it, but it definitely needs something, right? Because I chose it for this edge. Maybe if I do this. And then have one blue and one brown. That doesn't bother me. All right, let's do it. Which means I'll have to let this dry a bit before we fumble too much. That's the other problem I have, is I don't let things dry. I manipulate them while they're wet and it weakens them even more. That's just how I roll. <laughs> See, I bend it while it's drying, which I probably shouldn't do. Oops, sliding. Okay, let's just hold it for a second. Yeah, I really like this. I definitely want to add this in somewhere. Um, oh, geez. I'm, I'm not paying any attention. My attention span. Like, talking away. Squirrel? <laughs> I got no attention span. I'm just going to leave that to dry for a sec. I'll go back to my little folder, which is misplaced again. I've been doing this all day. I put my glasses down, I couldn't find them. I put uh, my pen down, I couldn't find my cell phone. I was, this is just how the day's been going. I don't know, all of you saw me put it down. You guys know where it is. 
and I can't find the little folder we were literally just inking. How do I do that? How do I manage to just lose it right in front of my face? I don't get it. I just don't understand where it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't find, oh, well, there's the insert we were looking for before. Let's put that right there. <laughs> find this great folder. Did it fall on the floor? in my mind. See, this is the, the stress of filming a video. You just, you can't do more than one thing at a time. Okay, this is really weird. Where on earth is it? I was literally just inking it. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's disorganized and then there's just ridiculous which is what I am right now. I honestly cannot find the folder we were just inking. I might, it's tucked back here. That's why. Okay, that was, that wasn't too crazy. That was just me. I'm gonna do it again, watch. I'm gonna put it right there. My goodness. All right, let's drop this. All right, I'm going to fold it, and hopefully let that glue dry. reinforce that just a little bit because it's just it again these corners and using this hard cardstock or whatever it was um, I don't think it was maybe maybe a thin chipboard it takes quite a beating these joints so you might find you have to unless you do it with like a book binding tape or something you might have to occasionally replace these pieces and that's okay So now I'm going to open it. I probably should wait a little longer, but I want to kind of stretch the paper. There we go. I think that's good. Okay. Let's glue this guy down. And uh, we'll probably just decorate this one and then call it a day for today. And then we'll do the final little bits and bobs. So I guess it'll be a part four. But again, um, let me know what you're doing. Let me know what you're making, what you're using, what your themes are. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. Do a little lap book community. Let's put this guy away so we don't forget him or lose him again. Oh, I made it too with the holes. Whoops. Okay, let's chop him a little bit. Nothing's not fixable. In the land of journaling. There we go. Okay. Oh, 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 here it is. Phew. How can I spend another 20 minutes searching for that? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to glue this down. I think I'm going to cut the very bottom of this off. So it's a little bit tidier at the bottom. And it fits a little better. That's just going to be my cover. I'm not going to make a pocket or anything out of that. I was going to do a tuck spot, but I think it will. It's just it, it would just take too much of a beating there. So we'll just make little envelopes and pockets in here to hold papers. Little you can put uh, reference pictures in here. You know of things you want to paint. Um, out of magazines or books or whatever, so that. If the mood hits you to watercolor and you're not sure what you want to do, you've got some more inspiration in here. So it's not just about being functional, these lap books. It's about inspiring you. Getting those creative juices flowing. There we go. Okay, so next time we'll we'll decorate in here as well. So we got quite a bit done today. 
think. I'm going to figure out what I want to do here. I haven't figured that out yet, but I will. Okay, so there we go. We've got our paints. We've got a section here that we just tied in so we can remove it and fill it and replace it. And then we open up our book and here's our little first section, which uh, is the bifold here. And then we can open it up and fill it with all kinds of goodies. So it has, it has the option to get pretty thick. And there is some room for it to build, but this journal, like you can make this a lot thinner so that um, the room there's more room in the book it's entirely up to you guys and what you want to what you want to put in it then we've got our paints we'll figure out how to put our brushes in and then we've got our my even on camera here we've got our little booklet with all kinds of goodies and inspirations and papers and then we can maybe put a pocket on the back here and then we've got this side with our little list of what we want to paint some more scraps, some inspiration, and some more scraps. So I hope that gave you some ideas. I hope you have fun creating your lap book. Um, again, feel free to uh, tag me on Instagram or comment in the section below. And if you want to see part four, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.